Pointless Base Mode. Now featuring Gunter. Um, no, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that was just terrible. Um, I must now apologize to all of you two. Uh, though I do not, however, apologize to Hasbro's marketing department or whoever keeps coming up with this weepy. Whoever, well, kept coming up with all those really awful base modes that so many of the Transformers have had. Um, especially Beast Wars. Base mode? Really? It's a freaking frog. He has no base mode. Uh, yeah, anyways, I'm going to get this guy in order and explain what's going on. I am reshooting episode 37 because the last one was just crap. It was awful. The lighting was bad. I came off as a drunk when I was sober, but very tired. I was not drunk. I repeat, I was not drunk. I was just really tired because it was uh, pretty early in the morning that day. Well, it's almost four now, but um, I'm still more awake <laughs> than I was then. Anyways, uh, seconds. as for these, yeah, my typical mask broke, and it's not going back together. Uh, none of the adhesives I've tried are working. About the only thing I haven't tried is plaster of Paris and concrete. So, yeah, not good. Anyways, so, steampunk goggles. Yes, steampunk. Yeah, I like steampunk, I'll admit it. That's uh, fascinating. Anyways, on to the review at hand. Uh, nosedive. Yes, he has a name, it is Nosedive. It's probably the only thing that I could come up with that, that isn't already taken. Uh, terror Sore, yes, Terror Sore, it just sounds abominable and off, just awful, but um, is actually already taken. Um, actually, I think it's taken twice over because I believe that was the name of the Beast Wars with yeah, it was. It was. Beast Wars. Um, anyways. Uh, right. Um, it's been a long day. And it's nearly 4 a.m. So, yeah. You'll have to give me a little bit. Right. Um, this is Nosedive. Because, well, let's face it. With these um, proportions, if he ever gets in the air, Nosedive. He won't be for gliding. He won't be flying. He will be nosediving. He'll have some control over his angle of fall, but he won't fly. The wings are too short. So they should be about that much longer, that much wider about here, and just, anyways, tapering off towards the end um, for this thing to fly. Um, for those of you thinking, cool, a dinosaur transformer. Um, not to be a uh, heard in the first year bubble, but pterosaurs want dinosaurs. They were all flying reptiles that lived during the time of the dinosaurs, but they were dinosaurs. Sorry, guys. Um, I did, however, actually make a dinosaur transformer. It is a Silurosaur, I believe. It's, it's either the order or family. Latin's pretty screwy to pronounce sometimes, especially the C O. E, which the O isn't even pronounced, so why even have it there? Anyways, not getting into that. Um, articulation, the mouth opens, yay. Um, okay. The feet are on ball joints, the legs do move, but they're literally attached just under the armpits, so I pretend they don't. And the feet move. Um, Elbow, uh, elbow, shoulder, shoulder articulation, the wings do clap, 
Here's the elbow. The elbow moves, um, and so does the wrist. Yes, this is the wrist right up here. This is not the elbow. Uh, you know those fun little spikes that they have on their wings? That's a thumb. And I'm a biology major, and uh, I've lost count of how many times I've had to correct people on terminology for joints on animals. Quadrupeds, too. That backwards knee, that's the ankle on the hind legs. Um, yeah, anyways. Uh, oh crap, he's trying to transform already. Um, that is actually the most annoying part of engineering this guy, was hiding the face completely, because he has sweet syndrome. I'll explain that later. Um, the base of the neck is on a ball joint, so is the head, but that's only used for transformation. Um, and that's pretty much articulation. There is no light piping in this mode, unfortunately, but there is cable, this hose, for robot mode, and the visible foot syndrome, these green bits on the back here, but that's mainly to balance out the green on the rest of the figure in both modes. Um, unfortunately, it makes him a little more out of proportion, not that the feet didn't do that already, and you can see the muzzle of the gun in this mode as well. Um, he actually does technically have visible hand syndrome, but I'm not going to count it. Anyways, uh, that's twice. Uh, he can do a perching sort of pose. Sorry, that shoulder likes to pop off when I bend it down. Um, but yeah, there he is perching. Or maybe walking on his wing tips like in Jurassic Park 3, which doesn't honestly make any sense to me why it would do that. I guess it could if it wanted to. But yeah, anyways. Transformation. Rotate at base of neck. And this wing has to be brought back out from that pose so you can get that foot out from under it. And just bring this foot off. Pop the gun off. We'll mess with that later. Uh, bring the arms out. Rotate hip. Rotate hip. Get the foot up. Bring the arm forward. And rotate the hand. Same on the other side. Flip this one back. The hose likes to come out sometimes, so it's kind of annoying. You have to pull that piece off and roll this take. Sorry, um, I've lost count of how many takes this is, so yeah. Uh, more than six, actually. But hey, at least I'm awake enough to care. Uh, yeah. Anyways. There's a few things that can be done with the wing, and he's kind of actually already doing one of them on this side, so I guess we'll just start off with that. Um, yeah. Bring these, these rotate down, and rotate these bits up like that. There's uh, two sets of hinges here, well actually three, but um, that, and then that. There's a couple other there's a few things that can be done with that, but eh, oops, crap. like that, which hinders the articulation of the head, and then there's this, which I guess it looks okay, because um, there's really no way this head could ever be misconstrued as feminine due to the torso proportions and the shortness of the legs and the hugeness of the feet. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe uh, if you want to. Um, I'm not going to. Um, yeah. Anyways. I'm tired, long day. Um, but. Light piping. Oops. Sorry about that. Um, yay, it works. 
It also works on the pattern on the top of his head. Now, yes, you are still seeing something there that is not the light, though. That is glow in the dark paint because this was the head for the mosquito bee thing that I made. Um, I just took the eyes off. Um, yeah. I know blue eyes on a black head doesn't always work, but I like it. So, yeah. Anyways, um, some of the other things you can do with the wing, other than this, well, you can bring it forward, which you can do with pretty much any of them. Um, there's my personal favorite, which is bring it up like this. I like doing that, honestly, and if this wing fits going to be in two pieces, you might as well take advantage of that. Um, this can actually be actually be rotated at the elbow and turned out like that, which I honestly think just looks kind of weird. You can even rotate it forward. Um, maybe even put this up and turn it around forward, which is just no, 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 just no. Okay, skip that. Um, you can line them up like such. But yeah, anyways, um, I prefer it like this, and that's how it's going to stay for the rest of the review. Right. Um, I did mention there's a few other things that can be done with the gun. Um, specifically, gun hand. There's two ways that I figured to do that, uh, and I'll just show those off now. Once I get these pieces together. Uh, and wings. Let's take these three bits back here. I could not find another black one. So, yeah. Um, like that. Which is slightly off center, but easily adjusted. Looks okay from this side. But. This side's kind of awkward looking, just a little bit, um, I suppose I should turn the light on so you can see just how awkward looking that is. Um, and I should have probably turned the light on for demonstrating how to pose these, but, um, yeah. Uh, I like it. Uh, it works. There is another way as well. which is to basically take a shorter version of the last two, piece, two bits that I popped off, pop them on there, and rotate this down by 90 degrees, and just pop that right on the top. I'd probably have to stick a single dot um, piece right there, probably a round one, just to fill in that gap a little. But, um... It still looks good. I don't know. I kind of like the other way better, but unfortunately, I have one white one of these and one black one. So yeah. Uh, oh, never did that. Right. Um. Oh, great. Right. Pretty much everything's on a ball joint. Um, the crest does kind of get in the way sometimes with this particular arrangement, so I guess bend them out a little bit. Heads on two ball joints, so it can go side to side as such, as well as up and down all around, except for when it's the wings back here. Um, yeah. Wrist can go out like that just fine, can't go any further in, can be stuck like this. So yeah. Um, hips, knees, ankles, all on ball joints. These wing bits are on hinge joints, as you can clearly see, and technically so is the gun. I like the hose. I'm kind of a fan of Shockwave. Um, he looked okay in Dark at the Moon, but come on, if you're going to have him, give him more than two stinking lines. Um, yeah, I'm not going to even get into that, because there are several long, long, long-winded rants on Michael Bay. 
Transformer movies on YouTube already, so yeah, I'm not really going to touch it. Anyways, this is Nosedive, and this is Derek Ovens saying good luck, good building, and goodbye.